This is RFC Mocking here, giving you the latest in my flight reports for Birds of Steel, played on the Xbox 360. This game that I'm reporting on here was the last game of the night on a Friday night after I played a whole series of, uh, of rooms. Um, usually I set up a custom sim setting where there are no marked enemies on the map and no marked enemies in the skies. In this game, however, I inherited the room from a series of other players, eventually becoming a controlling player in a sim game, so this one did include enemies marked on the map. In this particular game, I had at least two other players on the opposing side, maybe a third, I'm not entirely sure. But um, in this ongoing series, I am reporting about, a, uh, about my attempts to get better flying the Focke-Wolf 190A5. There's the plane with my personalized um, Sea Dragon markings. This is the Blue 13 skin you get for 50 kills, and I'm struggling slowly to get to, to uh, 80 kills for the next skin. This is a long series of games this night. Um, some games I had more success than others, and I noticed that the more games I played, the sloppier I got. And so this last game, I knew it was going to be my last game, was late. And I was determined to go ahead and play this game as smart as possible, which includes, it starts off with climbing up into the air, getting as high as possible, and checking out planes. There are a pair of gladiators ahead of me. A quick check in six, and tracking those gladiators. Now I've earned my altitude advantage here. But I'm attempting to uh, stay smart. One gladiator, he pulls up too sharply, and rather than follow him, I go ahead and use my energy to climb. Look onto some altitude there, and rotate, and see if I can spot any enemy. Now, in this game, I was at least able to check for that on occasion. I try to hedge my bets about where to look for some enemy planes. But I find that I'm actually fairly well stuck into the look around, and so most of what I'm doing relies on spotting other planes. There's a series of planes here. Um, somebody got shot down, and in this one, you can see a pair of, of um, Mustangs. Now, as far as I can tell, these two guys flew the same planes next to each other, and flew coordinated, so I suspect you were on the microphone, you didn't spot me, so I got one of the two right there, and the other one drifts over across, and so I've picked him up and following him now, I don't think he sees me or he spots me. Now he knows I'm there. He pulls something like as good as, but I was on him and down the second Mustang. So I got both of the care that time, which I'm going to go ahead and celebrate with that. Now, I only ever fly cockpit view. I know that in sim games, the players are free to, to fly in a third person view. And some, some of my friends think that that really makes the game kind of unfair. I only ever fly in cockpit view. But I'm including these external shots just because I think they look kind of cool to see the plane flying. And this game was set with a perfectly sunny day, and I think that the planes look the sharpest and the cleanest in this kind of light. So two-player kills here is not too bad. Um, for the night, actually, this brought... I started off the night at 52 kills, and I actually ended the night at 70 kills. So this really wasn't that bad. Those were, um, those were two of the last kills I had for the night. So I'm actually not that far away from the skin you get unlocked for kill number 80, and then the final skin is unlocked for kill number 100. So I'm trying to extend, gain some altitude back, keeping an eye on my six. Um, the map had told me that there was a plane following me, and so I was attempting to look back and see if I could figure out who that plane was and where that plane was. Spot it way back there at a certain point. This is a gladiator, and largely there he's way back there at the dock. He can't, he couldn't keep up with me at this point, so I wasn't too worried about him. So I decided rather than spend time trying to evade him, that I would uh, turn in back towards the center of the field, keep climbing altitude, 
so that I could have my officer advantage. At this point, the two planes that I shot down had very likely taken off and were very likely hunting me. So a slow turn back towards the center of the field so I can figure out where any the planes are. I'm trying to keep an eye out for the guy that was on my tail. There's some action going on just to the right of the river there. Part of the challenge with the Fock Wolf is initially setting up your run early so that you are at the right angle so you're able to maneuver. Um, very often the gladiators and sometimes the players coming at a hard angle, you can't, if you don't line up on the right, you can't turn with them and so you blow your, um, you either turn sharply to try to catch them, uh, which you often can't and you lose all your energy, or you blow past them. Um, and more than once I've blown past a plane and then had it all of a sudden on my tail, so you got to be a little bit careful about how you set these things up. All of it seems to be setting up an effective approach, and I'm still not very great at that, so that's, that's the next sort of thing that I'm working on. There below me is a white, there's a brownish plane, that would be the, an allied um, G50, the Italian G50. Again. So I pull back up again, realizing that that plane is not an enemy plane to take off after. someone on my tail. So I try to reverse. There's a couple planes down into my lower right. Turning, which puts me at a terrible angle for them. And I can't follow them. So I decided to go ahead and let them go. Now there is a plane up ahead of me. And one just above me to my right. That one down there is a gladiator. Try to catch him on the way up. I did a quick shot. Now, the game did not register any kills for me. You can see him just descending right there near the road and the forest. And right here, he smacks into the ground. Um, the game did not award me that kill, so I don't know exactly what happened. I suspect that um, my machine gun fire hit him, but not my can. My can is going to blow his wings off. I suspect my machine gun fire may have hit a control, and he lost control and crashed. And sometimes that happens when you, you don't get awarded the kill, even though you're the one that damaged the plane. You're the reason that they crashed. Probably in real life, had that happened, there'd be no way to confirm that you did or didn't hit him. And so I probably would have earned a kill for that. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened to him. Maybe I just startled the AI and caused him to lose control and crash into the ground. But either way, the game did not hit him credit for that kill. So now, that, that chasing that guy caused me to go low. I'm lower than I would like. Probably should have extended and gone back and became altitude, but I'm slowly climbing back up to about a thousand feet. And you can see that there is already one gladiator and one monowing plane right there on my tail. The way that guy's coming up is probably the Mustang. I too low to pull a genuine split S, so I kind of pull a modified uh, nose down turn. I'm going to change the direction at the bottom, hoping to shake them. Uh, then I find myself both simultaneously on defense and on offense. This is not the guy chasing me. A different set of planes, but one of which is in fact Mustang, so I'm now on the other Mustang scale. So I follow him up, and you can see he's flying low. I'm assuming that his friend is telling him that I'm on his tail. And I fired, but wound up, he dipped his nose at the last minute, and I was shot. Um, putting me at a disadvantage, so I try to climb up again as best I can here. So I failed that run. And you can see immediately somebody's on my tail, probably that original Mustang, firing at me. I did an external view here because I wanted to show you there's two Mustangs to my lower right and a plane and a biplane to my lower left. So I've actually got eight, I got four different planes on me and those two Mustangs are working very tightly and coordinated. So I was trying to evade them, um, get back towards my own territory. Here I pull what I was hoping would be a barrel roll 
but I was shot by one of the Mustangs and shot down. Um, as I recall, when I was flying it, I did one turn to manage to lose one of the Mustangs, but the other guy stayed very tightly on me. So these guys were, again, flying in a coordinated way, and I guess they got their revenge. Back in my own airstrip, and I take off again. So doing the slow takeoff, the advice that I got from Sergeant Quinn was very good, uh, which was not applying the, uh, the takeoff flaps until about um, two-thirds of the way down the runway. That way you maximize the speed and then use every inch of the runway. So I go ahead and take off there, try to pull my, wind, my uh, wheels up as immediately as possible. And the flaps not too long after that. And then, ordinarily, I circled the airfield. Here, I believe, I actually, rather than circle the airfield, took off towards uh, my left there, across the river, and spent some time heading away from the river, rather than going off to my right in this image, back towards the city over there where all the drama and excitement is. I give credit to the two guys I was flying against. They did not hang around my airstrip to attack me um, as I respawned, so kudos to them. I wish I could remember who they were. Uh, both good players. I wish I could remember who they were that, that I was flying against. I would give them a shout out here, but I don't recall the names. So pulling back up on some altitude again. I'm heading back towards a little bit back towards the city area now that I've gained altitude. And I'm stalking on some other airplanes that are uh, doing a dogfight in the sky. It looks like these are mostly AI planes. Um, not wanting to get involved in that, I head back. I, I decided to avoid that dogfight there, and I had heard an explosion um, sort of back in my airstrip, checked the map, and saw that there was a plane flying near my airstrip. So at this point, uh, heading back towards the airstrip, here I made a terrible mistake and fired on one of my own AI allies, thank God for crappy shooting skills because I did not bring him down. But uh, here I'm, I'm heading back towards my airstrip trying to see if I can spot an enemy plane who is uh, targeting the cannon installations, but the, the anti-aircraft installations at my field. There you, again you see there's a Mustang and he's turned in. I'm above him. I've slowed down my throttle. Attempts to drop in behind him here and he pulls kind of a turn somewhere, either above me or, or sharp left turn, and I lost sight of him for a second. So I extend a little bit, look around, see if I can spot where he gets behind me, and reverse, and sure enough, um, he starts flying back towards my airstrip, so I'm able to pick him up again and get back on his tail. I don't know that if he had seen me at this point, or if he, there he goes, um, I don't know if he'd seen me at this point, or if he was just more concerned with trying to destroy my airfield to, to end the game in an enemy victory. But um, he fires there, takes out one of the, one of the enemy aircraft installations, and now I'm on his tail. I fire, so I think at this point he knows. He gets my on him. He pulls that same sort of rotate over and drop down maneuver, which does uh, outturn me. And he's got a little bit of speed there, so he pulls ahead, but I'm still on his tail. I'm trying some distant shots there. I know I get he's hitting. Then he goes for another kill and smacks him to the ground. Um, I was given credit for this kill, so I don't know if I did manage to shoot him or if uh, or what happened, but I got three player kills. Probably one of Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.